Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I am coming back to you with uneven eyeliner because the streets are talking about a new product. If you guys don't know by now, last year, has it been a year? Maybe even more than a year? Um, Milk Makeup came out with the Hydro Grip Primer. Everyone was talking about it, everyone loved it. And then recently they announced they're coming out with the Hydro Grip Setting Spray tongue twister there um so i figured i would check it out do a video testing them both together since they're both supposed to be you know like these makeup gripping products keep it lasting all day see if it actually does that so if you guys want to know as well then let's go so this is the milk hydro grip primer this retails for 15 to 30 dollars 15 dollars for the 0.33 ounce and then 30 dollars for the 1.52 ounce i ain't gotta talk much about that but the new setting spray I bought the mini because it retails for 18 to 36 dollars 18 dollars for the 1.69 ounces and then 36 dollars for the 3.38 ounces you know I bought the mini I already told you guys about the whole like setting spray I probably should not be buying any more setting sprays but you know what I wanted wanted to check it out so I was like I could at least buy the minis let me know how you guys feel about minis. I feel like some people like minis because it's like, oh, you know, I can use this for traveling or, you know, you can buy the mini and test it out and see if you would want to get the full size version. I feel like some people don't like minis because they feel like it's a cash grab. So let me know, Um, but this is what it looks like. And it's got this, like, I don't know if you guys can see, it's got the green and then the blue separate. It says you're supposed to shake to mix the two, but, um. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on Hydro Grip and then the rest of my face, and then we'll talk some more about the new setting spray. So my camera disconnected from my computer that I use for a monitor. So I was like, you know what, let me just finish the rest of it, then I'll get up to reconnect so I can uh, tell you guys about the spray. And now it's time for the spray. So what it is, an alcohol-free dual phase setting and refreshing spray that sets makeup for up to 12 hours, hydrates skin, and provides a visible, breathable, glassy glow, finishes radiant formulation as lightweight spray for normal dry combination and oily skin. So on the how to use, you're supposed to, it's a two-in-one, so you use it to set your makeup after you do your makeup, and then it says um, like midday, once you know your, your makeup starts breaking down, you uh, spray it again, and it's supposed to refresh your face. So that's how I'm gonna try it today. I'm gonna use it right now to set my face, and then you know when I do my like midday check-in, um, I will refresh half of my face to see if it actually makes a difference with refreshing and then i'll you know come back and give like my final thoughts on it so let me take off my powder okay so it says shake well to mix the two so that's the overall color that you get now let's see how do you miss okay and pretty close This is gonna be my face for the day. It is currently, okay, iPhone backup failed, thank you. It is currently 11 a.m., so I'm gonna go check in during the day, do the little refresh touch up, and then see you guys back here later on tonight. Tell you my thoughts on the new setting spray and it in combination with the primer. So I'm back for the check-in, it's 2.35. This is my face looking like, listen, it is hot, okay? It is hot. I almost forgot to put my shirt back on to come film this check-in, um, but like I said, I'm gonna check in, show you guys my face is looking like and then use the uh, setting spray for the other because it's two-in-one for the other thing it's supposed to do which is refresh your face I feel like I'm gonna try to refresh this side because you know she she looking a little bit more oilier than this side of my face but I think that's because this is the side of my face that was facing the window like why is it hot and it's not it's actually it's not even like a hot hot thing because it's only like like 80 degrees maybe um it's the humidity you know like when the air is just like just sitting there just ugh. um okay I'm trying to figure this out because i only want the spray to hit one side of my face so i'm assuming like i'll just block this side like that should i take the lashes off because i gotta close my eyes i just 
YOLO. I'm gonna leave them on and see what happens. But let's see, let me block this like that. And, okay. <clears throat> and I'm just kind of pushing it in with a little puff. Do I look refreshed on this side? Oh, I should have gotten it before. I mean, I'll just try to take like a like a screenshot of me talking a couple seconds ago um, to see a kind of before and after of what this side of my face looks like. Do you guys think I look refreshed on, well, do I look refreshed on this side compared to, oh, duh, that's why I didn't take, a, like this is why I don't film in the afternoon. Um, duh, I didn't take a before and after because this is the before. Um, but I guess you can see a before and after of this side. I'm literally saying all of this and talking to myself out loud, okay. Um, but this is what it looks like on that side after refreshing with the spray. Um, I'm probably gonna go a couple more hours and then like check in, check in, see how it's held up by the end of the day. And you know, because I, I refreshed one side, I didn't refresh the other, see how they're holding up as well. So I am back, it is 5.38, this is my face looking like. I feel like I should mention this, that um, about an hour ago, I took my pre-workout because my workout's in 20 minutes. And um, if you don't start working out after a certain amount of time of taking your pre-workout, you can start itching. That's a side effect to <laughs> taking pre-workout. It's not everyone's case and it doesn't happen with every pre-workout that you take, but the one that I take, that is one of the side effects for me. Um, so I just wanna throw that out there. If you if you notice anything, it might seem a little off because your girl's really trying to not itch right now. So I'm also gonna try to wrap this up. but. Um, um, as you guys saw by the thumbnail, they had me in the first half, okay? Because I, I can say after I finished my makeup, I was like, you know, she cute. Like, it's cute. Okay, I see what my face is giving. But it wasn't giving me, like, game changer, life changer. You know when you try those products and you're like, okay, this is it. This is what my routine needed to really take me to that next level. Almost kind of how you felt, like, after you tried the Hydro Grip. And, you know, the setting spray was supposed to be the setting spray version of the hydro grip and with hydro grip you put it on and like you you feel the gripping you feel like your makeup is secured on your face where you're putting it on top on top of hydro grip so i'm not sure if like that's what i was expecting from the setting spray but in the setting spray version you would expect like once you spray it you're like okay i'm locked i'm loaded i know like my face isn't going anywhere i'm not saying it didn't do that but like it didn't feel like that after i sprayed it so you know again like after i tried it, i was just like oh, okay she's cute she's cute she's cute she's nice it's nice it's a nice setting spray they work nicely together um and also that that might also be the whole like it has a radiant finish um, you guys know I have oily skin, so using the two together, I would say, you know, um, Hydro Grip, the primer, after you apply it onto your face, it gives you a little, little glow to your face, so maybe that was it as well. And then I tried the, the, the little refresh, the touch-up in the midday clip that you guys saw and then I was like okay that's 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 the feeling that it's supposed to give you when you know like it's a game changer type of thing so for me I feel like she a game changer as a touch-up type of product not and that's saying something for me because if you've been here for a minute you know I don't even like touching up I'm not the person who you know brings powders and extra makeup in their bag I'm like listen once I do my face you know, before I go, I'm, I'm gonna just cross my fingers and hope my face makes it by the time I come back home. And I, I like the fact that I got the mini version of it because that just makes it so much easier just throwing it in there. And again, if I don't wanna carry powders and makeup to reapply and to do this, I feel like it's pretty easy to throw that, sorry, itching moment that I couldn't ignore there. What was I even saying? Um, yeah, but you know, throw it in your bag. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, take it out when you need a touch up spray your face down and it's like all the all the energy that's been sucked out of you during the day is now brought back to life like looking at my face you know this is the side that's been through the day with a touch up this one without you definitely see more you know like oil production in my t-zone which is where i get oily and you know again like this like this side if i told you i did however many how, how many hours has it been i don't know i think i left at like 11 a.m this side of my face was done at the same time as this side of my face. You'd be like, oh, oh, 
okay like you can see the difference of the little touch up throughout the day so i really like the, uh this spray as like that type of product as a touch up type of product i feel like moving forward i would probably still when i'm doing my makeup uh use a different uh spray to you know spray down my face really lock it in for the day and then like i said even if i'm not going anywhere but i just want to touch up my face during the day you know maybe you need to touch up for a quick picture who knows um just pull out that spray and this it's almost like you know you just gave yourself a, a whole new makeover on top of the makeover that you already put on your face for the day i think i think that is it so after application spray mm, not so much um as a touch up spray i'm all the way here for it and look at that buying the mini worked out for me see look again let me know in the comments down below if you're here for minis um and yeah i hope you know seeing me test this out has helped if any of you want to check it out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment subscribe turn on your notification bells down below thank you all for watching i will see you in the next one bye